Hello everybody, this is Pyra, and I just wanted to go over the latest update that we got in the Lodestone regarding the 10th anniversary 14-hour broadcast schedule and details. So this will be the ninth 14-hour broadcast that Final Fantasy XIV team has done, and this is going to be pretty action-packed heading into Dawn Trail. So the first amount of information that they gave us is about the date. So this is going to kind of cover two days if you're in North America, at least. It will be starting in the evening of Friday, April 12th, and it will go through the wee hours of the morning on Saturday, April 13th for us North American players. And so this broadcast is going to be segmented in about seven parts, and it's gonna kind of have this main broadcast that starts from the beginning until 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and then there will be a second half of the broadcast going from 3 a.m. onward. And now it reads here that the broadcast is going to include Yoshi P joining a Warriors of Light in game for Stroll with Yoshi P. So you, he will be in game. Hopefully we will see more details further down in the lodestone. The Primals, the lovely band The Primals, is going to have a special talk segment to commemorate their 10th anniversary. And we will also be receiving a round table discussion with the dev team and more. So we'll, we'll see all of that. And then in that secondary part of the broadcast, we will be seeing a playthrough of the upcoming Final Fantasy XIV tabletop RPG. So that is actually scheduled to release in May. And we will see the devs do a playthrough and it's kind of a significant chunk of time too so we will be seeing what is to come in the ttrpg so scrolling down we get again a little bit more of the details so this will start friday april 12th at 8 p.m pacific standard time if you were an east coaster like myself that is 11 so it is 11 p.m eastern standard time so this is kind of a really late broadcast it's going to be really hard for a lot of east coasters to be able to watch this live but typically these events will be recorded They'll be saved to Twitch and or YouTube after the fact. So if you can't watch it, if it is too late and out of your, your normal time, you should be able to catch it after the live stream has ended. And of course, speaking of YouTube and Twitch, right here, this main broadcast will be presented on YouTube Live, uh, Nico Nico Live, as well as Twitch. And that is that 8 p.m. PST to 3 a.m. PST. After that section, the second half is only going to be on YouTube. So keep that in mind if you're especially somebody who watches on Twitch, it will be on YouTube the entire broadcast, but it will not be on Nico Nico Live or Twitch past that 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And now a note right here, which is very important if you are new to these broadcasts, this is going to be in Japanese only. So there will not be translations on the live broadcasts. However, and I will find some links below, there are typically some discords and Reddit pages that usually try to do some translations for special events. So keep that in mind. There should still probably enough information that you can see, even if you don't speak Japanese like myself. However, the main portions of the broadcast will not be translated. And so next we get into our schedule. So all of this schedule they put into Pacific Standard Time for us. And they put little check boxes here for co-streaming. So if you are a streamer and content creator like myself, this gives you the green light to co-stream. So you can record yourself kind of as a watch party or record yourself watching the sections of the stream and broadcast and it is allowed. They're giving you the thumbs up. So that is something good to keep in mind. So the schedule is segmented out in seven sections if you count the secondary broadcast as its own section. The first part is just a simple introduction. That looks like it's actually gonna be like almost an hour. So first part's gonna be introduction and whatever they want to do, introducing the team. The next big chunk is going to be our letter from the producer live. So letter from the producer, if you want to kind of hear what's up and coming, that is your, your chunk of information right there. That is kind of the big milestone event of this 14 hour broadcast. Next, we go into show us your IRL minions and hopefully they'll mention a little bit more of that detail below. Uh, right after that, we will see the Primal's 10th anniversary looking forward and back and forward and back and one foot forward, probably. But either way, we will be looking at the past 10 years with the Primals band. And then the next big section, this is that 
live. Yoshi P will be in game to meet the Warriors of Light. So keep an eye on that. They will probably be in a Japanese data center, I would have to think, but I'm not 100% sure about that. So we will look at the details below, but there is a couple hours carved out for this stroll with Yoshi P. And then this final chunk of time in this main broadcast is going to be a developer's roundtable discussion. And of course, the seventh chunk, seventh segment of this event is going to be the long secondary broadcast. Let's give the FFXIV TTRPG a go. So this is the tabletop RPG they will be doing as a secondary broadcast, and we will get a look at that. And so if we scroll a little bit more down, we're actually going to get the same thing, the schedule, but broken out a little bit with some extra details. First off, this introduction, it's going to be cast member kickoff to the show with opening remarks and rundown of the broadcast. After that, we get uh, two and a half hours for the letter from the producer. So they're going to be covering latest information about Dawn Trail expansion and sharing some interesting FFXIV related data for fun. So this is going to be produced by Yoshi P, of course, and Foxclon. They will be our presenters for this event. Please look forward to that. If you are someone who's very excited for Dawn Trail and for new information, this section right here from 9 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. PST is going to be the big event from this 14 hour broadcast. Hopefully we will get a chunk of new information related to Dawn Trail in this section. So please look forward to it. Next is we have an hour of show us your IRL minions. So same thing, it's gonna be Yoshi P and Foxclon going through and showing off, it looks like pictures sent in from the Warriors of Light. So uh, showcase featuring real life minions in quotes that bring joy to our Warriors of Light, even outside of FFXIV. So please look forward to that. That kitty is adorable on the left. And then uh, I think that's a cactus on the right. I'm not sure, but we'll, we'll, we'll get some memes, probably some good fun from that hour section. And then the next, another thing that I'm very excited for is Seeing the Primals. So Primals 10th anniversary, looking forward and back. That's another hour and a half long section. And it says here, everyone's favorite FFXIV band will be looking back at the last 10 years of performing together. And they might have some important announcements in the second half of the segment. So that, that leads a lot to the imagination. My hope, which is probably a pipe dream, is that they will just do a tour by themselves. Um, I would love to see them. I have not had a chance to go to FanFest or anything like that in the past. So my hope is that they just go on tour, but that is more than likely <laughs> just a pipe dream at this point. Our next section now is that other really cool one that we were talking about with the stroll with Yoshi P. So this is gonna be another two and a half hours and Yoshi P will be joining Warriors of Light in game for some Alliance raids while developers share some behind the scenes story uh, stories about designing them. So that is really cool to start out because usually I've definitely had instances where I've seen Yoshi P in game um, in past years. However, it's been more of just him kind of going into one of the world zones and then everyone likes mobs him. So seeing that he's going to be playing with uh, fans is really cool opportunity. Of course, they are not going to be spoiling the world information until the live stream is live, probably because of congestion. So he could be anywhere at this point. We do not know. So we will find out during the live stream. If that's something that you were interested in doing, definitely keep your eye out for that section. Who knows? Maybe you'll join Yoshi P in the middle of World of Darkness. We don't know yet. So hopefully that is something that you can keep an eye out for. And of course, as well as Yoshi P, we will also be getting some of our senior story designers, lead battle content designers, level designers, background artists. So we will kind of be getting a little bit of the talk with the devs as well as having this fun little segment. And for the last part of the main broadcast, we will be getting a developer's roundtable discussion for three hours. So this is probably the longest section of the main broadcast. And this is going to be a wrap up with this main part of the broadcast with a chat between various 
members of the development team and kind of insights as well as, you know, shared past about work behind the scenes with developing the game as we know it and probably some stuff going into Dawn Trail. So that will conclude the main portion of the broadcast. Now, the second part of the broadcast that will only be on YouTube Live, it's going to be all related to the Final Fantasy XIV tabletop RPG. So the dev team and the operations team will be playing the TTRPG ahead of its release in May. So if you are somebody who likes tabletop games or maybe wants to give them a shot, this is a great opportunity to kind of see what's what's going to come with it. So they will be playing the tabletop RPG for quite a while. It's 8.30 p.m. to 7 a.m. Pacific. So keep an eye out for that. And this is going to include uh, designers, art team leads, project managers, community managers, community planners. And this will be going on from 8.30 p.m. to 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And that is all of the information that they gave us with this broadcast. It is going to be kind of a late one for us in North America. However, like I said, if you are looking to watch this broadcast, don't feel like you have to do it live. The only thing that you would really have to do live is the stroll with Yoshi P. If you are trying to get in on that, though that's going to be incredibly competitive to try to get into the Alliance Raids with Yoshi P. Um, but definitely keep an eye out for it. I know for myself, I have to come up with a game plan of what I'm going to do for that. I might try to stick it out and catch this letter from the producer live while it is live. Uh, however, I'm going to have to do kind of a sanity check to see if that is feasible for me. Um, but definitely keep an eye out. I will post on my social media if that is something that I will do. I will make it a live watch party. So I will watch it live on Twitch, live on YouTube for people to come and hang out with me and see what's coming new in Dawn Trail. And thank you for watching. Let me know below if you are, are going to catch any of this 14 hour broadcast, which part that you're most excited for. I know for me, it is definitely going to be the letter from the producer, even though I'm very excited to watch the entire 14 hour broadcast at some point. Uh, if you want more Final Fantasy news like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I'm trying to give us more lodestone updates as they come, especially on the months, now kind of weeks, leading up to Dawn Trail. Uh, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in game. Bye.